All right, this is part eight. And I want to go back to what I was referring to in the beginning as music being a language. Um, I hinted at it when I said you have to hear the seven going to the to the next major going as to five, a five chord a, like the C7 is a five, what they call a five chord of F. The reason they call it a five chord of F is F, G, A, B, C. C is the fifth of F. When I hit that C7 chord, it's no longer a one chord. Before it was C, D, E, F, G was a C chord, C, E, and G. But now when I add the seventh to it, the B flat, the seventh to it, which is not in the scale, C, uh, it becomes a, what they call a five chord of F, F, G, A, B, C, five chord of F. So with that seven, it becomes a five chord in the key of F. You've just modulated to F. The C7 wants the, the C, the B flat wants to go down to the A, and the E wants to go up to the F. You can hear them moving. You can hear the move. The B flat goes down to the A and the third of the chord. And the E, the third of the C chord goes up to the F, the tonic, the root of the F chord. Now, you have to, your ear, in, in musical conversation, you have to get your ear working the same as when you converse with anybody. When you converse with anybody, you, the first thing you do is you listen and you hear what they have to say. Now, by hearing different phrases after a while that they say, you begin to hear those phrases just immediately. You don't have to think about what they say. When they say, hello, you know what hello means. When they say, I'm going to the supermarket, you understand I'm going somewhere, and then you hit on the word supermarket. That's the final of it. That's the F chord in the supermarket. So your C7 goes to your F. That's five. The C is the five of F. When you add the seventh, it becomes a five chord, and it becomes a, a, a restless chord. It wants to go to rest. It wants to go from, from being dissonant to not being dissonant, you see. And it rests. Not at rest, to at rest. It wants to, wants to go somewhere, wants to move. All right, so now that's part of the conversation that you must learn to hear. Learn. It just has to come to you. You can't think about it. You just have to hear it. That becomes part of the musical conversation. Now, the reason we call those cycles a cycle of fifths reason we call them a cycle of fifths is because each time that the one chord gets a seventh tone in it, it's no longer a one chord. It becomes a five chord of the next key. It becomes a five chord of the next key. So the reason it's a cycle of fifths is because it becomes a fifth, which becomes a one. Then when you add the seven, that becomes a fifth which goes to a one. Then you add the seven, that becomes a fifth, and that goes to one. So it's a cycle of these five, five chords, of these seventh chords. It's a cycle of seventh chords going to one, and then the one gets a seven tone in it, and it's no longer a one. It's no longer at rest. It becomes uneasy because of that seven in it, so it becomes a five chord of the next key. So if, you, if you've got C7 going to the F, then you've got F7 and it's going to the next, to the next one. So B, C, D, E, F. F goes to the B flat, to the one chord. F7 goes to B flat, you see, and then as the B flat gets a seven in it, it goes to 
one. And B flat is the fifth of E, F, G, A, B flat. The B flat, the five, goes to one. Again, and that keeps cycling around like that. Now, what you want to do with the musical language is you want to hear what the seventh tone is doing. And all of a sudden it may go to a minor and that'll shoot it to a different direction. But you've got to understand these various different phrases that we accept in the, in, the, in the language, our language, whatever it may be, English, French, whatever it is, we have certain phrases we just, we just recognize, boom. Well, you need to recognize those things in music. That's musical conversation. That's the language of the music. So, for example, you, in the key of F, in the key of F, one flat, the scale, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, that's an F scale. In F scale, there's a lot of things we need to hear to know. One of them is a cycle of fifths. So if you take the F down to D7, that's where Three Georgia Brown starts. That's where Up the Lazy River starts. It starts on a D7 chord in the key of F. That's where if you wanted to do Salty Dog in that key, if you wanted to do the old New Orleans tune, uh, Tailgate Ramble in that key, they all go down, they all go down to the, down to the sixth and they, and they go around the cycle of fifths. So for example, that's, right? the G goes to C, right, then it goes back, then the C goes back to F, and you're back in your tonality again, you're back to the F, and then it goes back down to the D7, it goes around again. The second half of the song, after it goes up the lazy river, the G7, da, 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 the G7. Now all of a sudden it goes to the four chord because it's going to change its tonality. So it goes up to the B diminish, then F, E, E flat, D coming down, then G, C, C F. D7, G, cycle, C, F. Now your ear must learn to hear those things happening when it does it, just like you recognize different phrases when you speak your language, English being my language. So, so you know you must learn those various different things. So one thing your ear must start hearing, if this is called, you, you, this, you would have in, in schooling, whatever, if you went to formal schooling, you would have this study where you developed your ear for these different sounds. And that's one of the sounds. One of the sounds is a cycle of fifths. Now, there are various different things that'll move you different directions that'll make you converse and make you understand where the song's going and your hand will automatically go there just like you converse, like we converse in our language. For now, I'll stop and we'll go on to something else. That's part eight.